By default, videos in your tour will be played by the Unity Video Reactor. The thing that makes this a Unity Video Reactor is that it uses the Unity Video Player system. The Video Player system for Unity is pretty good, but if you feel like you could do better or you've got a third party asset you'd like to use, then that's absolutely fine. Included in C360 is a Unity package with an example integration for how to integrate C360 with AV Pro Video. To see how the Unity Video Reactor works, the first thing to check is that it inherits from Media Reactor. This means we can override a few methods. The most important method is C360 Media Switch, and we check that we're in the middle of our switch state, and if so, we check are we in a video media node data, and if so, we switch our media. If there's no video clip associated with the node data, then this script will attempt to load it from resources. If a resource load fails, then we'll take the streaming assets path from the clip and use the URL play format. If your video clip is not in streaming assets or a resources folder, it won't work with this script. It's worth noting that on some platforms such as WebGL, resources may not be supported where streaming assets usually is. On the AV Pro Video Reactor, we follow a similar pattern. We inherit from Media Reactor, override the media switch, and then check for a video media node data. If we find one, then the first thing we'll attempt to do is load from the absolute path on this local machine. The first thing this method checks is whether the absolute path for the data exists on the system. And if not, we take a streaming assets relative path and load the media from streaming assets. By following a similar pattern, it should be possible to integrate almost any third party video player. One important thing to note is that when using video, it's important to call time reset timer and time start timer whenever the video loops, if you're using looping. And finally, check the methods that are called on the surface object. The Y flip is used to control whether or not your video texture should be flipped in the vertical direction. Stereoscopic generally gets set directly from whether or not the data considers itself stereoscopic. And set texture is used to apply a particular pre-made video render texture to the surface.